So I recently ran a giveaway for my latest book, Calisthenics for Beginners on the RDP Instagram channel. And all you had to do to enter was leave your best calisthenics or workout training tip down below in the comments. Now the contest is over, but these comments and tips were so great, I didn't want them just get buried in, in the Instagram ether, if you will. So I wanted to share some of the best ones here with you on today's video to maybe if you can get just one or two of these little tips, they can really make a difference in your training. All right, let's jump right into it. I'm just gonna read them right off so they're direct. Uh, number one, of course, schedule your workout. It makes a hell of a difference, especially if your workouts are unstable and they're just always hit or miss. Next up, keep it fun and playful. I definitely recommend this because especially if it's starting to feel dull and monotonous and like a chore, keeping things a little bit more playful, a little bit more free form like I've been doing for the past several weeks, check out the video up here for my updates on why that's more effective, for me at least, can really ease off some of that pressure and make it a lot more fun, enjoyable, and potentially even more effective. Number three, the classic embrace the suck. Because yes, in order to change the body, we do have to do things that are going to make us uncomfortable from time to time. And I'll couple this one along with the idea of be comfortable being uncomfortable, meaning being mentally and even emotionally comfortable with physical discomfort. Because usually we will take our foot off the gas because of how we're thinking or how we're feeling rather than what our body's actually capable of. So embracing the suck is the idea of learn to actually enjoy it, learn to appreciate that hard work and your ability to push yourself to that level and you'll find much more reward from going that distance. <laughs> I love this one here. Uh, if working out in your yard, imagine all the neighbors are watching. <laughs> you always manage to do a few more reps and this is absolutely true. Back uh, in the day, my buddy and I, when we were skiing, we would call this Kodak courage, meaning like if someone's gonna take your picture, because having a set of eyes on you, it's just that little extra edge that can make you push just a little bit harder. So even imagining someone watching you, like your crush or somebody, will help you get that little extra bit that can make all the difference in the world. Next up, okay, what I would do is say if I had 30 minutes to train, what I would do for me, I would do three by three assisted one arm chins, Superset with handstands, good, very good push, pull in opposite directions, very good balance, awesome. After that, muscle ups, I'm picking the big moves, have the biggest bang and prioritizing what I want to improve. And that's very good advice right there because you wanna prioritize the most important exercises, not just in general, but also for you as well and what you're capable of. Because if you have too many different exercises, you basically just bloat out your workouts and then your attention and your energy gets diluted around and you're just not doing enough of anything to make much progress. So this prioritizing onto a few basic things, definitely the way to go. Next up, it's all about tension control. Really like the steps you're preaching. One, tension, two, position, three, movement. This really takes stress out of the joints and ligaments. Absolutely, he's referring to this way I call my Peter strategy. Position, tension, resistance. So when you start and set up for an exercise, you first get in a position, then you turn on the muscles, then you apply resistance. Same uh, approach that I took off of um, power lifters taught me this one from deadlifts. You don't just go up and just deadlift and be halfway up on a rep and like, oh, that's right, keep my back on. You want to have a very dedicated way of ensuring that the quality of your tension is good from every exercise. And he's right, it does help your joints a lot because a lot of times we're experiencing joint pain because a muscle isn't doing its job. It's not turned on or there's a misalignment somewhere. So having that setup, which takes literally like half a second half the time, you greatly increase the safety, the effectiveness, and the comfort of your exercises. This one's very simple, kiss, keep it simple. Five exercises, cardio, lower, push, pull, core, one minute each, three to five rounds. Hey, you cannot go wrong with a strategy like that. You have basic exercises, covers a lot of bases, very comprehensive, rip through it and use the timing for what your goals are. If you wanna emphasize endurance and stamina, shorter rest periods. If you wanna be more focused on building strength and bringing a lot of energy to each exercise, a little bit longer rest periods. But that's hard to mess up with. You go with a simple circuit like that, it's definitely going to be an effective workout. Next one's kind of along the same lines here. Full body workout, three days per week as circuit training, pull-ups, push-ups, leg raises, lunges, bridge, aim for 30 total reps for each exercise. Choose a progression that is challenging at 10 reps every week for three weeks, which should be fairly doable, maybe a little bit less depending on the exercise. 
uh, go down uh, to uh, 30 reps for, at week four. So it's a little bit of a deload. Very good. Let yourself kind of just rest and recover from it a little bit. Start with 40 reps and next week, uh, week five, add 10 and basically rinse and repeat. Very good, very simple basic progression. You don't wanna make your progressive formulas complicated. The simpler and easier they are to implement and explain, like if you can't explain your progressive method in something like a tweet, it's too complicated. Keep it simple, easier to follow, much easier to implement and be successful with. Whew, okay, this is kind of a real long video if I included them all in one shot. It'd be like over half an hour. So if you want to keep this train rolling, check out part two right on up here. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. If you have any thoughts, questions, and other contributions to the RDP community, down below in the comment section as well. Thanks very much. Be fit, live free.